A policy that has been in place since the 80s is now getting a second look by the FDA. The organization is proposing a change in who can donate blood that would allow gay and bisexual men to donate. Our sister station in Portland is looking at what those changes would mean. There's been a slowness and, a, and on the FDA kind of grappling with that issue and coming to decisions that make sense. The Food and Drug Administration announced Thursday a proposal to ease blood donation guidelines for gay and bisexual men. Under the current rules, these men can only donate blood if they have not had sex with another man for three months. The new proposal would allow anyone to donate after an individual risk assessment. It's a change Rick Young says has been slow moving. Uh, it, it just seems like it's, it's been a long time coming. Rick Young is the executive director of the Portland Gay Men's Chorus. He's lived through the AIDS crisis, which started in the 1980s, and is where the FDA's restrictions on blood donations for gay and bisexual men stem from. Uh, it was a response to an epidemic that uh, was hitting the LGBT community quite extensively, and people were afraid that if, uh, that if gay people gave blood, that somehow AIDS would run rampant. The FDA instituted a lifetime ban on men who had sex with other men from giving blood in 1983. I used to work in places that had workplace blood drives. And, you know, and, if, and, and at a time when I wasn't comfortable being out, you know, people will say, well, I'm going to go give blood, are you? Oh, no, I, I just don't give blood. Well, why? And, and you know, so it creates those interest, those kind of conversations that maybe we're not ready to have. That lifetime ban policy went away in 2015, and in 2020, the FDA eased restrictions again. The Red Cross is on board, releasing a statement that says the Red Cross also recognizes the hurt this policy has caused and that these are just the first steps in repairing relationships with the broader LGBTQ community. The concern by critics, while all blood donations are tested, HIV can be undetectable. I am sure that there are people in all in, in all of communities who are not going to be completely happy with this. But I think it makes the most sense uh, for us, and it follows the science, and we need to be following the science.